Hey friend, so let's get into the 10 things I stopped buying because of my eco-conscious lifestyle. And of course, we're all about imperfect sustainability here. There's no right or wrong way. Everything is pretty much a gray area in terms of sustainable living. So just because I have these things on my list, that doesn't mean you have to like stop buying these things. I'm sure you have a different list of things. This is just my list. So definitely let me know what things you stop buying because of starting your eco-conscious lifestyle and it saves you a ton of money. So keep that in mind, but let's get into number one. So the first thing is Ziploc bags. I don't buy Ziploc bags anymore. I just buy these stasher bags. I have a handful of them and they work so well. I have a little lime in here right now, but I love these. I use these when I travel as well to put like my makeup and cosmetics into. They're great for food storage. And if you are someone who uses Ziploc bags a lot, get a stasher bag. It's just a win-win. <laughs> So number two is paper towels. Now I did buy a lot of paper towels for a review video specifically because I had a lot of questions about sustainable alternatives to paper towels, but I will say just use a reusable dish towel. That does the job in so many ways. And there's just so many reusable options. You just have to throw it in your washing machine, clean it and keep reusing it again and again. So paper towels, I have a lot. They're at the top of shelf of my cabinet because I never reach for them. Those are gonna last me a long, long time. And honestly, if you switch to a reusable option, it is going to save you so much money in the long run. I'm in my bathroom because the next product is cotton rounds. I am guilty of buying the massive pack from Costco of cotton rounds. I used to exclusively use cotton rounds for taking off my makeup, but now I just use my face wash and that takes my makeup right off. So I don't have to worry about cotton rounds. There are a ton of reusable cotton rounds that you can throw in your washing machine, clean it and keep reusing it again and again. You can also make your own. You can even just use a washcloth, you guys. Like, you don't need cotton rounds. You can just use a little portion of a towel to take off your makeup if that's something you really need. I am in my laundry area because fabric softener is the next thing I stopped buying. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this is from like 2018 at this point. D does it expire? I don't even know. I just like stopped using it and I need to just like use the rest of this. If you don't have in unit laundry or there's no laundry room in your space or whatever, and you have to lug big jugs like this around, it's just heavy and annoying. <laughs> it's not a fun thing to lug around. But I've just noticed fabric softener like doesn't really do anything for me. Maybe it makes it a little bit softer overall, but I, I don't know. It's just kind of a waste of money for me. Now, some people love their fabric softener. I understand, but it doesn't do anything for me. So I'm just gonna stop buying it, save money, save plastic and move on. Hello, menstruating humans. Yes, we're talking about period products. I have said goodbye to single use period products. I have like an extra stash for emergencies just in case of like some pads, but I use reusable period products every month and it does the job so well. I have a menstrual cup, I have reusable pads and reusable period underwear and I love them. They're so convenient, they're super easy and honestly, they're so much more comfortable than single use tampons and pads. But of course it definitely depends on your own situation. I have a bathroom where I can like rinse out my menstrual cup. I have a washing machine where I can wash my reusable period products. And I think it just depends on your situation, what's gonna work for you, what's most comfortable, what's your lifestyle like. There's really not a one size fits all thing. Also, I just wanna say uh, this week sucks and I am very upset about what's going on. Anyways, reproductive rights are human rights and um, that's where I'm gonna leave that. Okay, this is gonna be something super random that you probably wouldn't expect from this list and that is gum. Did you know that a lot of gum that is sold out there has plastic in it? That's how it like doesn't break down when you're chewing it in your mouth. There's plastic in it, what the heck? There is a gum company out there called Simply Gum and that does not contain plastic. But yeah, I haven't purchased gum in years. 
Number seven is like new trendy clothing. And I think this is also due to like my age and growing up a little bit. I just am not about like all of the trends that come out constantly with clothing. Like, yeah, maybe they're fun. Maybe there are some I'm really interested in and maybe I'll try to like thrift a trend. But like, honestly, I just, I'm not into like clothing trends anymore. They're constantly switching. They're constantly getting old. There's always new things coming up and I'm just trying to find my own style right now. The trends are just not, not it for me. So the next product I'm gonna be talking about is like cooking oil sprays, like aerosol spray cans of cooking oil that you spray on your pans. I have not purchased one of those in so long. I just use a regular bottle of olive oil pour it onto the pan and kind of spread it out that way. I know they're super convenient, but I'm just not about aerosol spray cans in general. I just try to avoid them overall. And there is a product out there I've seen, it's called Misto and it's a refillable spray oil bottle. So that's definitely a product you should check out if you're into some sort of like cooking sprays. But yeah, I just, I haven't purchased it in so long. I just use plain old olive oil and it does the job. Okay, let's talk about excess beauty products. I don't know if you've been there just like I've been there, but I used to have like an extra couple of mascaras always on hand, an extra couple of like chapstick, uh, lip balms, or like just any excess beauty products. I just used to have them on hand. And first of all, it just adds to clutter you're spending money on things that are just kind of sitting there. Like you can wait to spend money on things. And I would just have too many products. I had too much makeup. I would never get through it all. I've stopped buying excessive amounts of extra personal care, extra makeup kind of products. I save money because makeup can like get expensive really fast. And then it just makes things a little bit less cluttered and clutter free, which we love. And number 10, plastic kitchen sponges. Those are just like a breeding ground for bacteria and germs and grossness. There are so many alternative options. There's also like compostable plant-based sponge options now. I personally love dish brushes and Swedish dish cloths. Those are my jam. I'll have some of my favorites linked down in the description box, but I love them. <laughs> they work so well. It's like a paper towel and a sponge like came together and kind of combined all of their best qualities. That's what a Swedish dish cloth is. And I am truly <laughs> obsessed with them. So I wanna know what products you stopped buying because you kind of started this eco-conscious lifestyle. My eco home makeover series is coming soon. It is going to be so flipping fun. So I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. Give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you guys next time. Bye.